Hi, it's Kai here. Okay, welcome to the to to our new developers. And yep, so this video I'm going to tell you about like roughly the the hidden functions and the, some tricks of using the software because um, because that the the user guide in the CUO folder is a bit crappy and yeah maybe. Maybe you will find this video more helpful if you go through this. Okay, first, I just let me go to the directory. Um, I will be showing you the um this demo with the zero point nine two beta, which is halfway through. I'm developing. Yeah, it's zero point nine one here, but yeah, it's already zero point nine two. And it's different from the the one you download from the website because, yeah, I have developed further from from that point. And this is the logo, the logo dot png in the root folder is going to be let loaded to this place. And this is the text of the versions, where the version text will goes this to this place. And Yep, and this is a place where I call directory panel. But actually, if you if you go to the to the to the source code, you can find the dir list. Yeah, I call it dir list dot java in in the source code. So, so the, in this directory panel, you can see there are three main folders with different icons. So, library, favorite, and toolbox. Um, if you notice just now, the launcher loads something. What the launcher loads when you start the program and double click the launcher.jar is actually the, the sequence file in all these three folders, mostly library. But yeah, if you double click the library, you just actually just treat the this directory panel as if the in your computer, in your folders, trees, or something. Yeah, just double click it and enter it. The first one is FNA file. FMA is a fast nucleic acid file, which store the single a uh, single fragment of the nucleic acid sequence. And this is the genome file. Uh, it's actually a gene bank file in XML format. And if you double click it, and you can enter and see the genome th things. And this PTR P stands for protein. You can click it and highlight all the proteins in this genome and T, or tRNA, R, ribosomal RNA. And yeah, this button is a one level button, and this is the home button where you go to the root directory. So, okay, so um, if in, in in first case, okay, you have a raw sequence of your target gene or any any genes. You will like to put it into a CUO or, or, or like make into a FNA file or something. You can first call the sequence creator from the file menu here, and here is the name. You put your name of your sequence. You put just AAA. Oh, one more. Okay, and the format here indicates the type of file you want to create. Fast start NA. Is a faster nucleic acid file, faster AA is a faster amino acid file, and multi FASA is a, is a kind of FASTA file where multiple instance of FASTA nucleic acid, uh, a FASTA NA file stack into one. Yeah, it's much much more like organized form of the the a lot of FASTA NA fragments. Okay, so I will create some sequence here. Once you're happy with it, just click save, and it will save in the library directory here. And yep, suddenly a a text a label here will pop up. It's called save at what time. It indicates your save is successful, and the time that you have successfully saved the the files. And if you try to go up a label and come back again, you can just like because it's not going to automatically refresh, but yeah, we can work it out later. Okay, actually, you and this you can see the AAA I created here, right now. Yeah, it's up here here as FNA file. 
for fasta amino acid file for BBB change the name and actually you just type the maybe methionine, phenylalanine, alanine, glycine just the tight amino acid codes inside and save it they are all the same just different type and you can see the BBB as a FAA file appears in the library folder and in multi star case oh I forgot to tell you that um, FASTA nucleic acid file can actually be created in restriction enzyme form where you create a, a restriction site uh, this is actually how I created the, the, the recurrent restriction enzyme list in the toolbox folder toolbox is the place where where we will store most of the like the handy sequences in 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 like common usage like let's say restriction enzyme ribosome binding site something like that which you usually use and not the genes part yeah okay so multifasta is you have three main buttons here the new you just put new fragments into it into this multifasta file and if you want to edit the sequence you can click the view and try to put some sequence in it or pass some sequence in it and then just hide it for now the length here have some problem I um, it's not going to show the correct length although it has some sequence in it mm, well it's a bug yeah we will we will, we will fix it okay um, and this type here you can actually change the type of your of your fragment and to any type you like let's say tearing it and double click the name you can change the name to, t t t to something and yep let's say you want to remove this tool with shift key and then click remove yeah remove and usually what I do is I try to load like a few fragments the fragment that I like to compile into one MFF file in this case yeah all of them if you click save and then save, save in the library refresh they are going to appear as a MFF file so MFF file is just similar to the BBB and BBB is similar to the uh, this MF file is similar to the genome file where you double click and then you can see the sequence we just created the TTT yeah and all the things that I have just packed into the MF file is a good way to organize the sequences and just delete it for the moment and oh yeah if you press delete key in the and select, uh, select a file here and press delete key is going to be yeah you carry out this delete delete uh, windows and just delete as in you are in a explorer or something yeah just treat it as normal okay so that's pretty much about um, creating a, a sequence and yep okay we will move on to the next things